Hi, it's the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. I want to talk to you about an important subject that is really becoming a hot topic today, and it's growing, and people are becoming very aware of it. Being a bully is no longer being accepted because people have finally come to realize that old phrase that mom and dad, grandma and grandpa told us, sticks and stones will break your bones, but names will never hurt you. It's a lie. Name calling and bullying does hurt. It does burn. It does leave long marks and it affects kids and adults and sports locker rooms and backyards everywhere. And finally, people are taken aware that it is not to be accepted. Some of the obvious reasons that bullying goes on is because of your skin color, your appearance, some odd personality trait. They just pick on it. Or more and more, it's because they think you're gay. So, I can remember back when I was younger and I was in school and I'm at a school here today because I remember being in a classroom. I remember having a horrible stutter growing up and I could not speak well at all. I would try to read out loud in the middle of the classroom and I can remember that the words would not come. As simple as those books were, I would stutter, I would stumble over words. The kids would snicker out loud in the classroom. The teachers would ask them to be quiet and I'd continue on and the kids got louder and they gave me nicknames like Butt Rager, Bomb Booger, Rid or Ron Rager. They gave me actual nicknames because of my tongue and my stutter. And what it did to me was it affected my confidence, my self-worth, and I really became the very thing they said I was. I was a geek. I was a nobody. I had no self-worth. And it spiraled me into that mode for many years. What changed for me was one of the points I want to give you. How can we change bullying? People have to step up and become friends of those who are being bullied. Sit with them in your lunchroom. Hang out with them. Talk to them. Coaches, if you see it, don't let it happen. Go alongside of them and let the players know that this player is worthy of being on the team. And it will not be accepted. For me, it was when I was trying to date and I had a young lady that finally began to tease me about my stuttering in a healthy way. It was the first time I could laugh. It was the first time that when someone said, Rich or Ron Rager, or what do you want, Rich? Spit it out. It wasn't a jab. It wasn't a poke. It wasn't a hurt. It was an encouragement of saying, it's okay. Relax. Talk slower. It's okay. I'm not going to laugh at you and we can have fun together and you just be you. So please, if you know of someone that's being bullied, a great way to change the atmosphere is to just befriend them and let the bullies know they don't stand alone anymore. Here's another great idea for you. If you see someone being bullied, change the subject. All you have to do is change the topic of what's going on. Don't allow them to talk about their acne. Don't allow them to talk about their size of their shoes. Don't allow them to talk about they're not good at math or whatever it is. Change the subject. Get them off to something differently. One of the new things is that online bullying is rowing and rowing. Social media has become a mass market to go after people and stay almost unknown with your pokes and your jabs. If you have friends that are being affected by cyberbullying, I highly encourage you to delete, stop, block the page, change the conversation, let them know that it will not be tolerated anymore in our schools or online. Bullying is no longer acceptable. And if you need to, whatever service you're on, send it to the administrator. It, you know, it's not acceptable anymore to accept that lie of sticks and stones can break our bones. We just won't do it anymore. It hurt me and it hurts one out of five kids every day somewhere in school. So let's change the tone of our tongues, change our attitudes, and let's start helping and investing and empowering people instead of ripping and tearing them down.